Now, quick explanation, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get back to the video. Mercury, right there. And then we also have our, and i got to get my magnifier out of there, but we'll have that for shooting, okay? Remember, this is millions of kilometers down here, these yellow numbers, okay? Remember, just Mercury alone is 44 million kilometers away from the sun, okay? The sun is sold right there, okay? These are probes that are going to go, that are basically being launched now and are going to be launched and will be there I can't I don't even really doesn't matter right now but they're gonna we're gonna put one right there at six million kilometers close to the Sun by 2018 okay then we'll have the upper satellite Soho Sechi or, or ESA whatever they want to call it whoever wants to say that they own it okay it doesn't really matter taxpayer dollars all over the world pay for it okay so that's gonna be above the Sun Okay, that's going to be 14 million kilometers away from the sun. That's how far they have to stay away from the sun with these cameras and everything, these telescopes. Okay, solar orbiter is going to be there at 34 million kilometers from the sun. Okay, at that latitude, and that's going to be in an orbit there at that at that latitude, that height. Okay, though all these. Okay, so distances wise, you have to realize, and then we got Mariner from 74 to 75 was actually 44 close to 43 million miles kilometers 43 million kilometers from the sun when it took its shots okay so that's how far it is stuff and that's mercury oh i'm saying it wrong but it's mercury okay and then messenger 2001 was at that 43 million kilometers away so these massive distances that they have to stay away from the sun and then let's dive into our footage what we're seeing from b what i was showing you there's tons of distance out here in space when you get these telescopes going. There's huge amounts of distances. Now I'm showing you this from B and we're showing you Saturn in that long video of all, all the hyperbolics up there. Now the, the most important thing is to get over here and look at Earth and our object that we've, we've seen come around clockwise and we're going to zoom in on it. I'm in at 999 and this is the date and time that I showed you the 23rd there and I'm going to have the 22nd, okay? And that's the moon and Earth up there, those shadows that you see and then that basically that is our electrical static magnetical that we are statically clinging to the sun which is over to the left and I'll bounce out of this and make it smaller in a little bit I'm at 999 I'm pretty sure at 999 there you go I'm at 999 and we're gonna pump in on what we know that this object is rotated around the sun and it is in our solar system or because of bow shock and I'm gonna give you bow shock and so forth and electrical static star to star static in uh, magnetical butterfly effect and uh, basically microbiology of and it's not microbiology because it's massive sizes of stuff but it matches up when you're looking in a microscope and stuff and when you're looking out in space okay and it's all static electrical remember asshole electrician here so you get the shadows of the electrical static and basically that's earth there okay and then that's the rotation and the static electrical magnetical that basically the moon gets drugged behind earth all the time okay so as you see that electrical this is all showing you electrical statical and then you get the shadows that get displaced off into space from that luminosity okay and then that's the moon rotating around earth okay and I'm gonna give you a diagram on that also so most important in this footage is this object that is rotating clockwise around the sun, okay? And it's in our solar system, but remember the Milky Way galaxy is huge. So the idea, the factual, that the idea that we may never see this thing again because it's on one of the inner... You've seen the Milky Way galaxy before. Basically, we are a bunch of uh, objects getting... Well, we're getting drugged behind the sun, okay? The Earth gets drugged behind the sun. The sun is moving into the Milky Way galaxy, and I've got pictures for that, too, in a few minutes that I'll show you. But right now, we're going to glue in on this object that we know, because you even get the shadow from the CME that's coming off here on the 23rd. That's it right there, the CME, and then you see the shadow, and I can point here at 999. You see the shadows that are getting put off from the CME action, and you see how huge this thing is. It's actually that size, ladies and gentlemen, because the objects always put off the same size shadow in the sunlight of the sun. 
as that object. Now remember, this is on an inner band of the Milky Way galaxy, okay? Uh, it somewhat might be, and it might stay on the very outside of our solar system, okay? And I'm going to show you basically our solar system again too because we're going to go back to, I'm going to give you some uh, drawing too of bow shock and distances and so forth and so on. And then remember that picture that I've showed you? That's an actual picture of the Milky Way galaxy. And then NASA is pissed because the idea that they had to start showing that they've actually got pictures of the Milky Way galaxy with certain satellites and ESA and so forth and all the space institutes in the world. Yes, those photos are out there. Now you're starting to see them on space. And they're starting to explain and say the names of the... Of the and remember, Bo, uh, Flo and Ebb are still out there too. Okay, I'm just saying that for a fact. Okay. And can't prove it right now, but Ebb and Flo are still out there, and they're going to end up naming it, and that's just all whatever. I'm not going to get involved in uh, selling space. Well, I shouldn't say that. I also might sell the. I might sell NASA some spacecraft. So this is our object that, no matter what, is on the outside. And remember, this is not. This is a rotating, more than likely, something like the size of. Quite possibly, uh, it gets to be kind of hard to tell. And I'm just going to try to stay at this magnitude. But this is what's basically there. Uh, is it a possibility that we have another sun? We, we might. This might be one of our closest suns. There's a sim sim similar possibility because I didn't remember. Panstars was a star. Okay, Panstars is a star that fell through came by our solar system within uh, two years of being found and more than likely came out of up there way the hell out past, way the hell past Saturn. Okay, and they were saying that it was up by Pluto. Well, it was more of the area somewhere in the quadrants of a way the hell up past Saturn. And I've showed you in this video and also basically that's what we'll do is real fast as we'll get out and we'll go over now. I've had, I got another video that I'm gonna place up before this and this one should basically help you. Actually, I'll probably put that video that the because this is the earlier date. This is the twenty. Is this the twenty third that I had? Yeah, this is the footage of the twenty third that I showed you. So there's a good chance that basically we have uh, the sun is our middle star, and we have more than factually actually probably found. And I'm going to give you a bunch of distances on Voyager, Pioneer, and everything at the end of this video and stuff like that to give you these massive distances. And what I've been showing you is the satellites, the distances, the massive distances that they are. Okay, so this is what we've been watching up at Saturn. More than likely what we have actually found is a hyperbolic star chain that is the next closest star to us more than likely. I'll get it down to the Nats ass. But as I pop out of this, well, I'll scoot over and we don't have to worry about this thing coming. I was trying to show if, if this thing was even falling or something like pan stars. It's not going to hit Earth and it wouldn't even if it is. So in the future, we basically what we have always found, because I remember I was originally saying, it's like, what, we found the sun in my videos late last year and early this year. I was saying, wow, did we find the sun? And no, well, well it's a sun, it's a star, it's hyperbolic stars, and I'm going to have that in that video behind this video here, ladies and gentlemen. So actual factual, that's what we've been looking at up there. And what I'm going to do is show you uh, the 22nd that I came off of the footage of the, the 23rd, but I'm going to show you the 22nd, where basically we, we just begin to get off of, uh, this is the 23rd, and that's Earth and, and Mercury doing its deal. Remember, this is a, uh, a zoom-in shot, okay? So when they zoom out, there's a gigantic quadrant here of where Saturn's at way up there in this shot here, okay? Because basically, actually, factually, those two big bright objects are this object here and this object here, okay? When you zoom in, i.e., when they're zoomed in, that's what you get here. And then you get Earth, but it's at a different angle because it's on a zoom in. They're zoomed in. Uh, the mirrors, too, there's way more than one. So this is our object that we are basically seeing from that's close to on, on the 22nd. I've got that action there, okay? This is an object that is rotating clockwise around the sun, okay? And it's basically, there's a good pan, it's on the inner part of the Milky Way galaxy, out of our loop that we spiral around to the center of which Sagittarius A is basically the star, the closest centered star of the Milky Way galaxy. Okay, so we got Saturn that pops in here on this footage on the 22nd, starts popping in, and then when I get the factual, 
is I'm going to go into 400 really fast and then we'll pop over and yes that's the object that no matter what is we and then what's great is the pan stars action you go back to pan stars looking from B and you'll see the tail and you realize that well this is in the solar system because we can get the distance from it and I'll have that in the future video we'll ballpark how far we figured that that object there that we are seeing that's big below earth is away from the earth because we'll be able to get the distance of pan stars away from that's not we don't have time in this video for right now because we're getting this down that basically we've probably got the next closest star that's next to the sun that's up by Saturn that you're seeing in that blue footage that I was showing you a few minutes ago because basically we'll pop in at 999 from all the way across on B and I've got to hurry up because I got to give you the massive distances that Voyager and everything is out there in bow shock and that they actually I'll give you a diagram of actual bow shock from NASA they know it we are basically in a bubble a hydrogen bubble out in space everything that we know that's pretty much in our solar system they might as well start calling it our hydrogen bubble because there's a lack of hydrogen when you get so far out in space that they've been getting on their instruments and stuff like that so basically the factual I have to go down here and slow this down and I'll put it slower by a couple of clicks and when it comes in you'll see the hyperbolic star and that's what we're at the 22nd the footage from B and when it comes in above Saturn you're gonna see a hyperbolic star and it's going to be in the next video that I'll show it to you and I'll get it zoomed in because the 23rd it comes in really good okay so you gotta watch that video and we'll go remember all these this is millions of kilometers that these satellites have to say in the future that we're putting up there and also that we've already had up close to the Sun so all the I'll have some videos coming up that I'll have a black and white that I did of uh, the Sun that I got from Navy and basically remember that the sun is moving this is a good diagram for you to be paying attention to that the sun is moving that way back into the milky way galaxy and as you can see that that some of the mirrors wanting to see my toolbar pretty damn bad right now they're just no big deal that's my toolbar and then all well, my toolbar disappears but it's sure hanging around a long time isn't it ladies and gentlemen so the centauri alpha centauri b b okay that's A, that's the star that Alpha Centauri BB, a planetoid object, is at, which is our next closest star to the sun. Okay, absolutely is. So we've more than likely, we have these stars that are out in space. Remember, 360 degrees like a fishbowl, okay, the sun and Earth and everything like that, okay? Remember, Earth rotates around the sun, okay? The galactic center of the Milky Way galaxy is in that way, Sagittarius A, okay, is in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, Galactica, okay, Galactic, and then Altair, and then we're going to find out whether Altair is up by, and then is that the hyperbolic or whatever hyperbolic that, because we're going to have a video that I'm going to put that the hyperbolic star is up by Saturn, okay. Now remember, forget this map because this is old, this is bunk. This is basically, even if it's fresh and new, 2005, great. What they're doing is they're showing you, but the thing is Voyager in Jupiter, Voyager in, in Voyager 1 and 2, I'm going to show you how damn far out they are. Okay, actual factual. And this is basically uh, Ulysses, which is basically went in and did its orbits. Okay. So that they, they were m many millions of kilometers away from the sun with Ulysses, okay? They had to get it all the way out in this orbit like Soho and so forth, and then they had to dive in and do their circles around the sun because they have to orbit. This is their first close approach was way the hell out there, and then they've worked their way in. And where Ulysses is at right now, I do not really know. They might do something with that just like what they've done with Voyager and Pioneer and Voyager 1. Voyager 9, I mean Voyager 2, and Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11. So Voyager 1 and 2, okay. But I'm going to show you actual factually where they are. And remember, Bowshock, forget it. Because factually, I'm going to show you that this map right here, which I'll get it pumped up real fast to like 400. I thought I had it at 400 because they're wanting to see where I didn't. This all tax paid. And you go on the internet and someone else put it on the internet, big deal. I've got it here to show you. Now we'll pump down really close to 200 real fast on a, on a screen size on this map. And you're going to see that factually we have, we have factually left 
with Voyager and so forth way out past 10 IU, okay? So they know where Centauri's at because Centauri 